Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm Bumi and today we are watching What Kind of Bear is Truly Best? The Bear Tier List by Tier Zoo. Yes, this one was suggested by Sammy DeVito6900 over here. Wait, are you the same Sammy, the Samiman9000? Did you change your name? Huh, I just noticed that. I've been replying to your comments all this time. I just noticed your name change. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, bears. What bears do we have? Uh, obviously, we got the grizzly, the polar bears. Uh, what else? Uh, American black bear, I think is the correct name. Mm, what else? Pandas are bears, right? Uh, puma? No, not puma. I'm thinking about... What was the bear in Tekken? Was it Kuma? I think that one was a grizzly. Uh, what else? Are koalas considered bears? Eh, I'm not really sure. Uh, again, if you're new here, I'm not all that good when it comes to biology and geography. So please forgive me if I'm wrong on a lot of things. Uh, I treat these videos as learning tools for me as well. So hopefully we all can learn something new every day. But yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So remember, if you like my reactions, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to leave your suggestions on what I should check out next. That being said, let's go ahead and watch the video. This episode was brought to you by Skillshare. Ooh. Oh man, not the self-inflicted ball shot. <laughs> Question: What kind of bear is best? Every so often, the meta game. I'm gonna. Side I'm gonna say grizzly. Him. Famous examples include the choose two puzzle, or the horse-sized duck, or a hundred duck-sized horses. Hmm. Now this one. This is an interesting question. <laughs> I'd probably be more terrified of the horse-sized duck, to be honest. I mean, a hundred duck-sized horses. Ah, you can kick those, no problem. But one horse-sized duck, shit. That can fly. But perhaps the most famous example is the simple question posed by Jim Halpert in Season 3, Episode 21 of The Office, where he asks what kind of bear is best. But before we answer that, let's take a step back and hear how Dwight responds. There are basically two schools of thought. He doesn't get to finish his sentence before he gets cut off, but he's right. There are two schools of thought. Those okay. The generalist approach and the specialist approach. Let's see. Which school of thought what? is better? No. When Those being the generalist approach and the specialist where are we? Sun bear? What the f What the hell is a sun bear? Yeah, so I got polar bear. I don't see any koala. So, uh. But yeah, pandas are pretty much useless. Uh, they depend too much on a lot of factors going right for them to survive. Uh, brown bears. Uh, these ones are probably the best ones, I'm guessing. Let's approach. So which school of thought is better when trying to optimize a bear build? I think the best way to answer that is to outline each approach's most relevant members and rank each of them on a tier list. So without further ado, let's get into it. Perhaps one of the most famous examples of a specialist bear is the panda. Mm -hmm. I don't think many players would dispute that pandas are easily one of the worst builds in the current meta. I have to agree. What they will dispute is why. A lot of players think that pandas are garbage because they have an extremely low respawn rate. But pandas actually give birth just as often as other bears. Yes, it's rare, but that hasn't stopped the higher tier bears. What's really holding these bears back is their absolute dependence on bamboo. Mm -hmm. Of all the specialized bears, pandas are by far the most over-specialized. The combination of stats and abilities they've got have made it so even if they decided to stop being strict herbivores and pursue a more generous approach, they can't really do it without a massive respec. Sure. They've got the bite force comparable to lions and tigers. But with mobility and stealth as low as theirs, there's no way they'd ever be able to make use of it against another player. Pandas use most of their evolution points on their special- I mean, I'm surprised its intelligence is that high, to be honest. Because, man, I've seen, uh, I've seen a real-life panda one time when I visited uh, Ocean Park in Hong Kong. And I gotta say, man, those, those chunky buggers are as dumb as they come. <laughs> ability pseudo thumb a bony like appendage that allows them to better hold on to bamboo the rest of their evolution points i assume were spent on their ridiculous palette swap <laughs> this is the only bear i could even consider being below average we have to jump all the way up to, to before we get to the next lowest bear 
Next on the tier list, we have the Sloth Bear and the Sun Bear. These bears use another yeah. specialist type build. These two, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if the Sloth Bear is just referring to the Sloths. But the sp Sun Bear specifically, I don't know what the, he what the hell that is. This time focusing on insects. Now, sloth bears and sun bears are miles ahead of the panda in viability. Okay, so Insects, especially not really. Insects, are a great source of XP, assuming you can tank the damage from the stings. Not only that, but unlike bamboo, insects are pretty much everywhere. So habitat loss due to a human builder player doesn't pose as big a problem to them as it does for pandas. What keeps them down is that although they're great at tearing into well-fortified ant and bee bases, they're actually not very good at defending themselves. They have losing matchups against every other key player in their region, including pythons, leopards, doles, and tigers. And for that, I have to place them in C tier. The highest ranking specialist type bear on our list is the polar bear. The polar bear mm -hmm. is one of the biggest land predators in the entire game, but despite their ridiculously high power stat, they have pretty bad matchups against the other popular Arctic classes. <laughs> well, We've actually done an entire video on the Arctic meta, yep, which you can we've watch seen here. that. If you haven't seen the uh, Surviving the Arctic meta video, go ahead and check it out. I have a reaction for it uh, in my Tears of Playlist. But the long and short of it is that their immense strength doesn't really come in handy that much, since their best strategy to score a limbs on seals is to catch them off guard when they come up to recharge their stamina gauge. They don't have the mobility to chase seals down in the water, nor do they have the strength to defeat walruses on land. <laughs> So in my opinion, there's far too much luck involved in the polar bear gameplay to rate them any higher than B tier. So that's all of the specialist bears, now we're on to the generalist bears. Generalist builds, if done right, will pretty much always outclass their specialized counterparts, yep. since they're much more prepared to cope with the rapid shifts of the meta. Like, for example, if human players need materials to build their forts, or if the ice starts to melt. In addition, these next builds differ from the others because they've got the bear's signature move, Hibernate. Hibernate. Hibernation is key to the success of the bear players because it allows them to completely. What is that? Enters a state of torpor, reducing mobility to zero and increasing resistance by a thousand percent. Skip the time of year that they're least suited to. Now, this does incur some difficulty on the player since if they fail to collect enough loot to get them through the winter, hibernation will actually drain their HP and possibly even lead to a game over. But if the. Man. Imagine if you're a bear that didn't get enough um, enough fat reserves. One day you just sleep and never wake up. If the bear's abilities are used correctly, this shouldn't be too big an issue. The first of the generalist bears on our list is the brown bear. Brown bears have one of the highest power stats. These are the probably the more bear common bears. Being outclassed only by bull, cattle, and elephant builds. They've also got fairly high mobility although it can't quite match that of the wolves or elk that they share a server with. But both of these stats are put to good use because of the animal's high intelligence, mm -hmm. one of the highest among solitary builds. This lets bears use their strength to successfully Scavenge. raid the treasure chests that human <laughs> settlements control. Loot well, box! Like its more specialized counterparts, it doesn't have the same venom resistances that would allow the sun bear and sloth bear to easily take out you social insect players. So it's certainly not invincible by any stretch. <laughs> But it can make up for these inconsistencies by doing what it does best. Griefing salmon mains. The Oof. salmon quest line's final objective. Look at those. Oh man, look at them camping. <laughs> oh goddamn campers, don't you hate it? And unfortunately, this exploit is pretty common knowledge among the bear subreddits and whatnot. Brown bears <laughs> have almost as good a matchup against fish as ospreys do. It's really unfair, honestly. There are a few varieties of brown bear, of which the grizzly is actually the weakest, sitting at the- Interesting, the grizzly is the weakest one. What's... man. I mean, a grizzly bear is basically like the poster child for bears. I'm, I'm, seeing, a, I, I'm seeing a pattern here where the most common ones where you typically see as the poster child for whatever fearsome animal is probably the weakest among among the group the high end of a tier the strongest variety of brown bear the kodiak bear can just barely sneak its way into oh, Estim, yeah. along with the last bear on our list the black bear yep black bears are true champions of adaptability when the anthropocene patch dropped every other north american bear actually quit the server including one of the <laughs> ice age meta's top tiers the cave bear cave bears and the florida spectacled bear were both specialists that were unable to adapt to the new meta, but the black bear player base has flourished. This is thanks to having slightly scaled back versions of all the brown bear's abilities, 
Oh Plus wow, they're more balanced. This allows them to get access to Look at that boy go. Such as tree nuts, beehives, and birds' nests. So yeah, Jim is kind of right when he says the classic line, false, black bear. Skills are essential for any <laughs> effective character, but instead of spending millions of years saving up the evolution points necessary to get them, you can unlock skills right now by using Skillshare. Oh wow. Skillshare is an online <laughs> Such a good transition. 3000 classes in design, business, technology, uh, and more. The segue. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality courses on must know topics, so you can improve your skills. Okay. So, yeah, as usual, we're going to take the time to watch the uh ad here. So, yeah. Skills unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. My favorite course of theirs is their one on motion graphics, which is Kurt's taught by Kurt's Scott. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with the special offer that's just for my subscribers. You can try Skillshare for free for two months by using the link in the description. Thank you so much for- Oh! I went too far away. You can try Skillshare- Yep, here we go guys. If you- I, I'm- I think the- this link is still active, so if you wanna get Skillshare and get two months free, go ahead to, uh, Skillshare, uh, skl.sh slash tierzu2. And uh, help support Tier Zoo so that he can continue make awesome content for us to watch and react to. Just as I expected, finally something, <laughs> something that didn't throw a very big curveball at us. Um, the uh, the black bears won by a huge margin simply because they are like a more versatile and probably a more balanced build compared to the brown bears but still we got some very very, very chunky boys there ready to camp camp you on the river <laughs> so uh for the salmon mains you gotta be gotta be careful for that one my guys but yeah very very good video i don't know what else is there really to say the pandas man they as cute as they are they probably won't last long if they're left alone in the wild i mean what give or take a hundred years before they naturally like go extinct if they just if they're not in captivity because really i'm hmm, yeah it's it's just not good news for them but yeah regardless that was a really good video good to know that we got a lot more bears than than i anticipated and a koala is not a bear hmm. go figure <laughs> yeah that's gonna be it for me today guys like the twitter is done in the description below you gotta check it out if you want to and if you're new here and enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below and consider subscribing also don't forget to leave your suggestions on what i should check on next that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time Bye.